Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Fire Me channel. So today's video is on how to get a stock for free. Um, I'm a little bit hesitant to make this video because I know some of you are probably going to try this and it is high risk, but uh, the reward is you can get a few shares um, basically at no cost, but you are going to use some leverage. You are going to um, buy and sell, uh, make a couple transactions, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this. I'm not recommending this. Uh, this is just uh, a video for interest sake. I have done this personally in the past. It's worked out several times. It's not worked out a couple times, but uh, it is a method that you can possibly do. Like I said, I'm not recommending this, so don't go out and try this in your own portfolio. Uh, if you do, just plan on losing all your money um, so you're not disappointed at the end. So. Uh, I'm going to write down the steps as we go along and then we'll review them at the end. But uh, basically, the whole premise of this is uh, if, uh, say, you have a bunch of blue chip um, stocks that are boring and you want to try to figure out how to get, say, some more uh, or get a position started in, um, let's just say, Virgin Galactic, for instance, uh, this is how you could go about doing that. Uh, using that uh, leverage in your portfolio to buy some shares on margin and to ultimately end up with uh, free shares. So uh, for this example, I'm just going to walk through and uh, actually just do it as an example. I'm not going to use uh, exact prices here, but uh, I think you guys will follow, be able to follow along and get the gist of it. Um, but uh, just for interest sake, let's use Virgin Galactic. A uh, company everyone's familiar with, uh, highly volatile. It, they're not like a steady 80 like a JP Morgan or a Costco or something like that that you know pays a boring dividend and uh, typically doesn't go up by massive amounts every year. Uh, Virgin Galactic's skyrocketed. There's a, a huge options premium uh, for Virgin Galactic on the call and the put side. So this is kind of what I consider to be the sweet spot um, for doing this type of a trade. And uh, basically what you want is a company that everybody is interested in, um, preferably in the tech sector that's somewhat volatile. So you'll have um, companies like Virgin Galactic is a great example, maybe Apple back in the older days, but now it's more of a, a stable or company terms of options trading, um, any of these high flyer techs that really don't have uh, the fundamentals behind their share price to support them, but they do have a lot of support and a lot of momentum. Tesla might be another one. Uh, they're getting a little expensive now though, but uh, basically uh, a company like Virgin Galactic that's got a relatively lower share price is the perfect company to do something like this on if you're so inclined but like i said i'm not recommending it please don't go try this at home but uh, let's go ahead and uh, discuss exactly how you would go about getting your shares for free all right so step one you are going to write a call or sorry a put option um, so a put gives somebody the right to sell at a certain price so in our example, uh, let's just say Virgin Galactic. So that's uh, SPAC, I believe is the, sh is the symbol, if I remember right. Let's just say their share price is um, $50, which I know it's trading around there plus or minus a little bit, but let's just say Let's just say it's trading around the $50 mark. So step one, we are going to write a put for, and we're going to do this on one contract, so 100 shares. Um, so one put, and the strike price, we're gonna put the strike price right at $50, because we know that's where it's trading at. And we, we'd probably write this option for um, one to two weeks out. So a relatively short dated um, option. And what we're basically 
going to do is we're going to sell that put or the right to buy or the right to sell sorry uh, your your Virgin Galactic shares at fifty dollars and just for the purposes of um, this uh, demonstration we're going to say we sold that put for three dollars so that would give us three dollars a share so this one uh, put that we sold with a strike price of fifty dollars we're going to net three hundred dollars out of that and i am excluding commissions of course this is just for the simplicity of the math and to um, just make the example so review where we're at so far Virgin Galactic, we're saying that it's trading in the $50 range, plus or minus, you know, stocks jump around a little bit. We are gonna sell one put option with a strike price of $50. And just for the sake of this um, demonstration, we're gonna say we got $3 for that uh, put option. So that's $3 a share, of course. So that will net us $300 for that one put contract that we sold. I think uh, in real life that um, if you were to sell a at the money uh, put, you would get actually quite a bit more than $3. You'd probably get at least five, maybe a bit more for it. But for this, we're saying we sold it, we netted 300. All right, so two weeks goes by, expiration comes up. Just for the, this example, let's say space closes at uh, uh, $49 a share. So the person that bought our uh, put option exercises it. And now we are basically, you're forced to buy um, that 100 shares of uh, Virgin Galactic for $50 a share, even though the share price had dropped to 49. We're still make in the green though because as you can see we netted 300 from the sale of that put option but now we are long 100 shares because we ended up buying them for 49 let's just say it $49 okay so just review where we're at. We sold the put. We made $300 on that. We got put the shares at $49. So we're down 100 uh, on that. So right now we're up net about $200 if you're following along. So now we have 100 shares. And let's just say for argument's sake, we don't have any cash. We just did this all on margin. All right. So. We're just assuming that you've got a whole bunch of blue chip stocks and a big pile of margin, so we're not outlaying any cash. These shares were put to us at $49. All that went against our margin, so we haven't put any cash out. It's just showing up as a negative cash balance in our account. All right, so now that we have these 100 shares, the next step is going to be to write a um, call option against these 100 shares and we are going to do a call option so one call option with a strike price of say fifty dollars okay so what that's um these short dated calls we're going to do probably like one to two weeks out um, for ex expiration if we do about two weeks out uh, currently with the volatility that uh, Virgin Galactic has, we could probably make, we, well, I know we can make about $5 a share for the uh, um, at the money uh, call option. So let's just say we put that um, at $5 uh, a share that we're going to make for that contract. So that's going to net us 500 Now, if you're following along in the math, I keep uh, circling these nets because that's actually cash in our money. So when we sold that put, we netted 300. When we sold the call, we netted five. So we're up $800 if you're not counting the, sh the price of the shares themselves because that's sitting in our margin account. If you remember at 
it uh, has a negative cash balance, but when we sold the calls and the puts, that's real money in our pocket at this point. So basically what we're going to do, we wrote this call uh, with another $50 strike price, so another at the money uh, strike, and now Virgin Galactic jumps up, it jumps down, it's highly volatile, and that's why um, that's why uh, you get these kind of premiums for these options is because it is highly volatile. Now, in real life, this strike price, um, we would probably put that at $55 in this example because there's momentum behind the stock, which means the market is pushing the stock higher and higher and higher. Um, but just for the simplicity of this example, I'm saying it's a $50 strike price. We could easily have put this at 55, probably got the same premium out of it. And then we'd make the premium plus when the stock sold, we'd make the Delta from 50 to 55 as well. Um, but let's just for easy math, say we are going to put it at $50. We're going to get a $5 premium. We're going to net 500. At expiry, let's say the share price goes to $52 and um, the shares get called away essentially. So uh, we sold this call with a $50 strike price for the right to um, buy our shares for $50. Um, so we are s selling at $52, that, or sorry, Virgin Galactic goes to $52. So we're basically um, 100 shares called away. All right, so now with that 100 shares called away, if, uh, if you noticed, um, uh, basically because we're using our margin to buy the shares, once that uh, um, call gets exercised and they buy them back, our margin goes away back to zero and we're left with the premiums that we sold these options for. So the 300 for the put and another five. So now we have, we're net on this whole transaction, $800 total. Now with this $800, um, you could go and buy back your shares and that's how you get these for free or go buy back some of the shares at $50. So at, eight, at, at say $50 a share, um, you're looking at uh, uh, one, two, eight, basically eight shares. So it's not a lot, but you kind of get the principle. So like I said, highly risky to do this. Um, the other option you can do is instead of selling this put to start, you could just sell the call. And if you knew that uh, you were going to net $500 on the call before you did the initial share purchase, um, basically what you do is you would buy, um, say 110 shares uh, or buy 110 shares up front with your margin account, sell the call for 50 to pay for those extra 10. And when that call got called away, you'd be left with your extra 10 shares and not have to do another transaction. But in this example, we sold the put first, so we ended up getting all the shares. But uh, so I'm just going to recap this. I know it's pretty complicated. Um, not as it's not super straightforward, but I think if you follow it step by step, it kind of makes sense. So we start by selling the put option with the strike price of $50 in this example. Uh, we make $300 net here from selling that put option. And um, we are assuming that we are going to be put the stock for $50. So in our example, um, the share price went down to $49 and uh, we got put the 100 shares of Virgin Galactic at $50. Then we sold a call option for $5 with a strike price of 50 again, or a, basically I keep saying at $50, but it's really at the money. Another 
I sold the call at the money. We made $5 on that. So we netted $50 from that option sale. Um, and at the end of that whole, uh, at the end of expiry, we are assuming that the share price creeped back up over that strike price and then 100 shares were called away uh, which cancelled out the margin that we used to cover the initial put um, buy that we um, initiated and we we're left with a net $800. Uh, another option uh, for this too if uh, you want to look at it another way maybe you just do sell your um, one contract for your puts uh, with a strike price of 50, make your 300 bucks, and uh, maybe you put this a little further out of the money. Maybe you put, maybe you sell that uh, put option for say $45 and you'd make a little less. So say you made $200 instead of 300, chances are you're not gonna get put the stock and then you would have your $200 to be able to buy back uh, more of your space. So it's basically a strategy using options um, there's a lot of different variants of this, of what you can do. Um, I've, like I said, I've tried this before. It's worked out successfully, but uh, the way I've always approached this has been, I'm not going to take do this transaction unless I actually want to own this stock at the end of the day. So I wouldn't do this on like uh, uh, Pelotron because I'm not interested in owning it. Um, and if you get stuck with the shares that you don't really want to own then you take a loss then it hurts double as bad but something like a Virgin Galactic which I actually want to own the shares um, even if I do get stuck with the shares um, and I can't sell them I can keep writing options against them I'll be able to recover my money and uh, I do want to own those shares of that company regardless so um, I'm viewing it as if I sell this put with a strike price of $50, I actually am very comfortable paying $50 for 100 shares of this company, it's, except for with this approach, uh, I'm making a little extra for the uh, option um, sale. So that's the way you can make a little bit of money and get your shares for free. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend this. This is a little bit um, to get your head wrapped around, but uh, let me know what you think or if you need any further explanation. But essentially, you're selling options, you're reinvesting that premium into the actual shares of that company itself. So anyways, have a great day, guys. We'll see you in the next video.